Hello, Anna Rose Parker here. We are going to create two tassels, a hand painted one and another one using a printed hole from my French bouquet rose kit. So I trimmed two rectangles and uh, the white rectangle I will paint it uh, in purple using my metalline paint and um, I will be using this tassel that I'm going to create for my next creative journal. I wanted to show you the different styles and different heights of tassel that you could create. So I've done three hand painted ones, the blue one, the yellow and the pink one that you can see on your right. And on your left, I use my uh, black and white back to school kits and I also use the vintage purple kit and um, the French lavande and lila kit. So first I create a loop with the string and then I measure it against uh, the rectangle and uh, the loop has to be two thirds high and then um, it's ready to be painted. Here I painted the string pink and purple using my metal paint and uh, I chose those colors because I want them to match, I want this, the loop to match my uh, muscles. With my ruler, I make a fold at around half a centimeter at the top of each rectangle. With my scissors, I cut strips and I stop right at the top of the fold. I finish painting each side of my purple rectangle. This will look good on the purple tassel. Put glue at the top of the fold and at the top of the strips. I make sure that I add glue at the top of the first two strips to make sure that the piece of strings will be well secured. Position the loop 
on the right hand side of the rectangle. I add more glue to the ends of the loop and then I start rolling gently. the fold as a guide to give me straight while rolling. Perfect! This first pink tassel looks amazing! Let's repeat the process for the purple tassel. That's it, our second hand painted tassel is done. I really enjoy making tassels with you. I hope you will have a good time making them for yourself. Thank you for being here and I'll see you in the next video.